Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Counterman Education Center series. Today, we will be turning the corner on today's electronic power steering systems. So grab the wheel and let's get started. Historically, steering systems on cars were hydraulic. They utilized a pump to move the fluid to the power assist, either a steering gear or a rack and pinion. This pump was driven by the vehicle's engine, usually via a belt. This was only an assist and the driver was moving the wheels. Today, the driver still has control of the vehicle, but the assist is coming from an electrical source. To understand the basic EPAS system, it is important to know the three basic types. The first would be a column mount. This type mounts on the assisting assembly in the column. This keeps the electrical components inside the vehicle and out of the elements. The downside is that mechanical repairs to the components can require disassembly of the instrument panel and other systems. The second type of system is also an electric hydraulic type of assist. The big difference is that it is not driven by vehicle engine power. Rather, the pump is driven by an electric motor. The final type of assist is an electric rack and pinion. These systems come in four basic types. The concentric or axial driven units integrate the motor into the rack and the armature drives a screw-driven shaft that moves the rack. The belt-driven style uses an electric motor and a belt to drive the movement. The final two utilize either a single pinion or an electric motor or two pinions driven by the electric assist. Regardless of which type of system you are dealing with, there must be sensors to allow the system to operate properly. The first sensor is the steering wheel position sensor. The system needs to know where the driver thinks the vehicle should be going. The system utilizes this sensor to judge intended direction. There is a torque sensor in these systems that tell the steering to assist the amount of torque a driver is putting on the system. This allows for the driver to take over at any given time and guide the vehicle in the intended direction. EPAS systems utilize speed sensors to indicate rotational travel of the wheels. If no rotation is detected, the system is disabled until the wheel movement is again detected. EPAS systems also use a dynamic sensor. This sensor indicates the vehicle movement and or direction of travel. This allows the vehicle to utilize braking, throttle, and in some cases, low effort steering assist to correct differences in steering direction and actual travel direction. As you can see, steering systems have become increasingly more complex. Please join us in the next episode where we will get into diagnosing these new systems.